All right, this uh, this video is finding all complex solutions to an equation, uh, and we'll have to use the nth root theorem. And I'm just going to go ahead and show you now. Each each example is going to have its own video. I'll have three examples. Uh, that will be the problem I work for example one. That will be the problem for example two, and that will be the problem for example three. So you can watch whichever video you need to watch. Okay. All right. So let's come back over here to the nth root theorem. It says if n is any positive integer, r is a positive real number, and theta is in degrees, then the non-zero complex number r times cosine theta plus i sine theta has exactly n distinct nth roots given by the nth root of r times the cosine of theta plus 360 times k over n plus i sine theta plus 360 times k over n where k goes from 0 to n minus 1. Okay, And I'll explain I'll explain this more as we're as we're going into the uh, as we're working the examples I'll explain to you more of what uh, K is and all that stuff uh, now now in this it's assumed see this right here is a complex number in trigonometric form and what we'll have to do for these is we'll have to convert the complex number from rectangular form to trigonometric form and it's assumed you know how to do that okay I'll explain a little as we go uh, but if you need to check out some videos on that, I do have some videos on how to do that. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so let's look at our first example. And I've got the formula here. Uh, so it says find all complex n number solutions of the equation. So I've got x cubed plus 8 equals 0. So the first thing we want to do is we want to solve this thing for x cubed and that equals negative 8. Now remember what what this said, I'm going to move this over, I just see now that it's kind of cutting it off a little bit. Alright, All right. so remember to use this our, our number here has to be in trigonometric form. So if you remember how to convert this to trigonometric form, we'll come over here and do it. So we've got r, okay, so remember this is in the form x plus y times i, okay, and so remember this is what x squared plus y squared, the square root of that. Okay, that's R, what we need here. All right, so you can see here that X is negative 8 and Y is 0 because we can write this as plus 0I. All right, so this is going to give us negative 8 squared plus 0 squared, and that's going to end up being uh, 8. That's 64 plus 0 is 64. Square root of 64 is 8. So there's r. Now we need to know what theta is. Okay. So, well, this one's easy. Uh, we, we know that to find theta, we can use the fact that tangent theta is y over x. But see, in this case, y is 0. But look all you have to do is plot this thing x is what negative 8 and y is 0 so that means it would land here we don't move up or down on the y on the imaginary axis and so you can see this would be 180 degrees and so theta is 180 all right so that's just quick of how to convert it like I said I've got videos on that go check those out go to the uh, go to my YouTube channel go to about and click on the website on my website and go to the trig section and you can find it real quick there alright so we've got r is equal to 8 and theta 
is equal to 180 degrees. Okay. All right. Now, this is going to be 4K equals 0, 1, 2. Okay. Now, how do I get that? Well, in this problem, N is 3. Okay. So we're going to have three solutions here. N is 3. And so if I plug the 3 into here, 3 minus 1 is 2. So I'm going to go 0, 1 to 2. All right. All right. So now let's go ahead and find our solutions. So when K is equal to 0. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is this nth root of R. Okay. So let's look at this. The nth root of R is equal to the cube root of 8. Okay. See R is 8. N is 3. And so this right here is going to be 2. Okay. So that's going to be 2 times. And now we've got to figure this out. So that's going to be cosine of, let me do this, I'll put a bracket on this one. So that's going to be cosine of theta, which is 180, plus 360 times 0, see this is when k is 0, over n, which is 3, plus i sine theta plus 360 times k, which in this case is 0 over n. Okay. And so this is going to be 2 times, and then, well, that's going to be 180 plus 0, so 180 over 3. That's going to be cosine 60 plus I times sine, and then that's going to be 60. Okay, And so there's that one, and that's in trigonometric form. Now, at the end of the video, we're going to change these to rectangular form, so you might want to stick around and watch that. All right, so now let's do when K is 1. All right, so if you remember, this, this can be written in a compact form. Like, like for instance, this, okay? This is the same thing as this. You do understand that this is the same thing. Okay? All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do that with this also. So this would be 2, and then... This is going to be 180 plus 360 times 1 over 3. And so that's going to be 2. And then let's see what we get here. We've got 180 plus 360. And then we're going to divide that by 3. And that is 180. Okay, so basically what this is, this is 2 times cosine 180 plus I sine 180. Okay, I just have it written in this form. Just a little easier and save some time. Okay, so K equals 2. So for K equal 2, that's going to be this here, which is 2. And then I'll use the uh, CIS. That's 180 plus 360 times 2 over 3, which equals 2. And then let's see, 180 plus, what is that, 720, and then divide that by 3. And that's going to give us whoop, 300 degrees. Okay? 
So let's come down here and write these. So we can, you can leave them like this in this shorthand form, or if if the book or your teacher wants you to write it in rectangular form, then you would need to convert these to rectangular form. And the easiest way to do that is to look at it like this. Okay, so that's going to be 2 times, and then the cosine of 60 is 1 half, plus uh, sine 60, the sine of 60 is square root of 3 over 2, and that's I. Okay, and so then we distribute the 2, so that's 1 plus I square root of 3. So there would be one solution. And then the next one, that's going to be 2 times. And, and look, and you can also leave it in this when you go to do it. Okay, so that'd be 2 times. You've just got to understand that you got to do the cosine of 180. Okay, and remember the cosine of 180 is what? Well, if we look at the graph, remember that's 2 pi, that's pi, and we're right here so that we know that's negative 1, negative 1. That's the cosine of 180 plus i times the sine of 180. Well, what's the sine of 180? Well, remember this is the graph of sine. There's 2 pi. Here's pi. And it's 0 plus 0 times i. And so we would get a solution of negative 2. All right, and then 2, uh, 300 degrees. Now on this one, you'll need to use uh, reference angles. Uh, so just real quick on that, I mean, you should already know how to do this. That's 300, I'm sorry, that's 300 degrees. Your reference angle would be 60 degrees. Okay, so the cosine of 60 is 1 half. Okay, and we're in the fourth quadrant. Cosine's positive in the first, in the fourth quadrant, so it's 1 half. Plus, and then the sine of 60 is square root of 3 over 2. Okay, but we're in the fourth quadrant. Sine is negative in the fourth quadrant, so it's negative square root of 3 over 2 times i. And then if we distribute, we get 1 minus i square root of 3. And so these would be your solutions in rectangular form. Okay. So I know the video is running kind of long, but hopefully this makes sense. I uh, hope it helped. Uh, give me a like, share, and subscribe. And Thanks for watching.